Welcome, friends. Thank you so much for being here. My name is David, and as always, I am grateful to share this practice with you. For today's practice, this is a stronger level practice, so as always, please do what you can. And I want to focus it a little bit on the asana philosophy today, or the postural philosophy and why we practice it. And so I'm going to share from a book called A Deeper Dimension of Yoga by George Feirstein, Theory and Practice. And he discusses the philosophy of asana, and I like it a lot. Some of the stuff inside this book does get a little bit more complicated, especially for the newer practitioner. But I feel how he embodies the actual physical practice and speaks about it is important because he brings up some great reminders for why we do the physical practice. And in a section called For the Philosophy of Asana, he says, Many contemporary yoga practitioners, especially those in Western countries, look upon asana as a tool for achieving physical fitness and flexibility. The yogic postures have certainly demonstrated their physiological benefits in millions of cases. They improve musculoskeletal flexibility, strength, resilience, endurance, cardiovascular and respiratory efficiency, endocrine and gastrointestinal functioning, immunity, sleep, eye-hand coordination, balance. Experiments have also shown various psychological benefits including improvements of somatic awareness, attention, memory, learning, and mood. The regular practice of postures also decreases anxiety, depression, and aggression. In the physical practice of yoga is important in the context in that it prepares the body to be able to be open and to be comfortable in order to eventually meditate. And so we use the physical practice. In fact, the physical practice is oftentimes called a moving meditation, but we use the physical practice as a tool to be able to be able to sit comfortably for long periods of time without tension and stress building up inside of the body. Now, each and every part of the practice is a discipline, whether it is holding a posture that may be considered a strength pose or comfortably sitting like this for a half hour, an hour, maybe longer at a time. But we first must be able to have the strength and the musculoskeletal ability to be able to hold the posture in a position for an elongated period of time. So we use the physical practice once again as a tool to help get us there. So as we move through our practice today, again, it is a stronger practice. Do what you can. Breathe deep. Be with your body. If you need to take breaks, take breaks. It's all good. And let's go ahead and start today in a comfortable seated position. If you need to sit on a block, please sit on a block or bolster. Let's place our hands on our knees. Turn the palms face up. Lift your chest. Begin by letting go of your day, letting go of your week, letting go of what's next and what's to come. Let go of any expectations you may have. Begin to notice your breath, observing your inhales and your exhales. The flow of the breath moving into your body and the flow of the breath moving out of the body. Let's begin to breathe together. Please take a long, slow breath in. Fill lungs up. And exhale, let it go. Deep breath in. Please fill your lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in, fill lungs up, and exhale, letting it go. Continue to breathe on your own, and 
check in with your body from your head to your toes, observing any tension, tightness, soreness, anything that feels out of balance or out of alignment. And as we move deeper into our practice, breathe deep, take breaks. Most importantly, please listen to your body. Do what you can. Place your left hand over your heart. Place the right hand on the belly. And let's begin to deepen the breath. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your lungs all the way up to the top and then hold your breath. Sip in once. Sip in twice, sip in three times, hold your breath at the top, reach the crown of the head upwards, spread through your collarbones, hold here for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, let it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Again, please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Feel the chest expand, collarbones spread, shoulders down the back, long spine, relax the face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. Hold your breath at the top. Sip once, sip twice, sip three times. Hold your breath at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. One more time, setting an intention for your practice today. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your lungs all the way up to the top, holding the breath. Sip once. Sip twice. Sip three times. Hold your breath at the top. Let the chest expand a little bit more. Focus on any intention that you have. Letting go of something, creating something, manifesting something. See it happening in your mind's eye for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, letting it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And let's begin with an ohm. Inhale. On the exhale, gently release the hands and the knees, softly blink the eyes open. Let's switch the crossing of our legs. So we switch the crossing of the legs, the other shins on top, placing the hands on the knees, palms face down. Let's start to do a little bit of breath work to start to warm up the body. On the inhales, we'll lift our chest and chin to the nose. Exhale out the mouth, chin to chest. We'll slowly start to pick the pace up after 10. Starting with the long spine, reaching the crown of the head upwards. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. 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 
Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Finding a neutral spine, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Next is 20 rounds at double time. Let's begin. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 18, exhale, 17, exhale, 16, exhale, 15, exhale, 14, exhale, 13, exhale, 12, exhale, 11, exhale, 10, exhale, 9, exhale, 8, exhale, 7, exhale, 6, exhale, 5, exhale, 4, exhale, 3, exhale, 2, exhale, 1, exhale, long spine, inhale, fill lungs up, exhale, letting it go, Roll your shoulders out. As you roll your shoulders out, just take your own time as you roll them out. Focusing on the breath. If you want to move into Ujjayi breath at this point, breathing in and out through the nose, sealing the lips, begin to move into your Ujjayi breath. Beautiful. And on the inhale, sweep the arms upwards, interlace the hands, press through the palms. As you press through the palms, lift your chest up, glide your shoulder blades up towards your ears. Let's move with our breath. Inhale to your right. Exhale to your left. Inhaling to the right. Exhaling to the left. Inhale right. Exhale left, two more, inhale right, exhale left, and inhale right, exhale left. Back to center, separate the hands, inhale reach up, exhale float the arms down. One more time, inhale sweep the arms up, opposite interlace of the hands, press the palms upwards. As you press the palms up, working with the breath, five rounds, inhale to your left, exhale to your right. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale left, exhaling twist right. Inhale twist left, and exhale twist right. Come back towards center, separate the hands, reach, inhale. On the exhale, float the arms down along the sides. Uncross the legs, please come onto your hands and knees. As you come onto your hands and knees, open the hands wide, root down through your palms, tuck your toes. As you tuck your toes, inhale, pull the heart forward, look forward, cow. Exhale, lift the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, lift the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward, look forward. Exhale, lift knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward. Exhale, lift knees, lift hips, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward. Exhale, lift knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. This time, inhale, glide forward into a plank position. Exhale, bend elbows, lower halfway. Inhale, press back up, plank. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, glide forward into a plank. Exhale, bend elbows, lower half 
halfway. Inhale, press up, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, glide forward into a plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Press back up, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times. Inhale, glide forward, plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Press back up, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, glide forward, plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Press back up, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, right knee to the forehead, shift forward. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee to forehead, shift forward. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead, shift forward. Two more. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead. And inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead, pause. Shift forward, round the upper spine. Come on to the tiptoes of the back left foot. Inhale, look between the hands. Exhale, step your right foot forward, left knee to the ground. Untuck the back left toes. Inhale, our arms reach up. Pause here. Bend into your right knee. As you bend into your right knee, reach and extend your arms up. Wrap your triceps forward. Firm the right hip in, sit into your hips just a little bit more, spread wide through your hands. Take a full breath in, palms touch. Exhale, hands down, hips back, lengthen through your right leg. On the inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine, pull your right hip back. Exhale, fold over the right leg. One more. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, folding over the right leg. On the inhale, please bend into your right knee. Tuck your left toes. Lift your left knee. Runner's lunge. Exhale, plant your hands. Step the right foot back. Plank position. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, bend elbows. Lower halfway. Hold here for five. Reach the crown of the head forward. Four, knees are lifting. Three, heels press back. Two, quads are engaged. One, inhale, press up, plank. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to forehead, shift it forward. Inhale, left leg lifts up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead, shift forward. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead, shift forward. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead, shift forward. Last one, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to forehead, pause here, shift the weight forward. Come on to the tiptoes of the right foot. On the inhale, gaze between the hands. On the exhale, quietly step your left foot forward. Lower the right knee down. Untuck the back right toes. On an inhale, please sweep the arms up. Reach up. Hold here. So we bend into our left knee. Left hip firms in. Right hip draws forward. Arms reach and extend up. Shoulder blades slide upwards towards the ears. Open the hands wide. Sink into your hips just a little bit more. Deep breath in. Exhaling. Inhaling our palms touch. Exhale, release the hands, fingertips down, hips back, lengthen through your left leg. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold over your left leg, left hip draws back. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Inhaling, half lift. And exhale, folding over the left leg. On an inhale, bend 
bend to your left knee, lift your right knee, tucking the back right toes. Exhale, plant the hands, step your left foot back, plank position. Inhale, shifting forward in your plank. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower halfway, hold here for five. Crown of the head reaches forward, four, thighs lift, three, heels press back, two, collarbones spread, one, inhale, press back up, plank, exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, come high on your tiptoes, bend the knees, look between the hands, base of your exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, half lift, we lengthen our spine, exhale, forward fold, inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips, exhale, press to stand, come all the way up, hands to our heart center, samastitihi, drop the chin down towards the chest, close the eyes, come back to your intentions for your practice today, take a deep breath in, fill lungs up, Sip in a little bit more air, see your intentions happening. And on the exhale, release the breath, arms are along the sides, the gaze is forward out in front of us. On an inhale, please sweep the arms forward and up. On the exhale, forward fold, hands fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen our spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back into a plank position. On the inhale, shift forward, feet together. Exhale, roll over to the outside edge of the right foot. Left arm reaches up. Now as the left arm reaches up, lift your right hip up. Now let's just move with the breath. Inhale, right hip down. Left arm goes back. Exhale, lift the right hip. Left arm reaches up and over. Four more. Inhale, right hip down. Left arm back. Exhale, lift the right hip left arm forward. Three more. Inhale, smooth, right hip down, left arm back. Exhale, lift the hip, left arm forward. Two more. Inhale, right hip down, left arm back. Exhale, lift right hip, left hand reaches forward. One more. Inhale, right hip down, left arm back. Exhale, lift your right hip, left arm forward, pause here. Maybe you stay here, maybe you float the left foot. Some of us may have the balance, we can bend the left knee, reach back with the left hand, and kick the left leg back. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, left hand down, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Press back up, inhale, plank, exhale, roll it over to your left side, right arm reaches up. With the right arm reaching up, we move with the breath, inhale, right arm back, hips down, exhale, lift left hip up, right arm reaches forward, four more, inhale, left hip down, right arm back, exhale, lift left hip, right arm forward, three more. Inhale, left hip down, right arm back. Exhale, lift left hip, right arm forward. Two more, inhale, left hip down, right arm back. Exhale, lift left hip, right arm forward. Last one, inhale, left hip down, right arm back. Exhale, lift left hip, right arm forward, pause. May we stay here. Maybe we float the right foot, maybe we bend the right knee, reach back with the right hand and kick the right leg back for five, four, open the chest, three, two, one, feet together, right arm up, inhale, exhale, right hand down, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Back bend, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, core is engaged. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. 
Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, palms touch. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back, lower halfway down, chaturanga, back bend. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the right tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, twist, shift forward. Inhale, right leg up and back. Look between the hands. Exhale, step the right foot forward, left heel down, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, rise up, warrior one, arms reaching upwards. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. On the inhale, lean back, lift the chest, gaze upwards. And on the exhale, fold to the inside of the right knee. Pause here. So back left leg straightens. Press the outside edge of the left foot to the ground. Float your hands up off the tailbone. Bend into your right knee a little more. Now firm the right hip in towards the center line of your mat. Hold for five. Four. Three, bend right knee. Two, and one, inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch. Inhale, flip your right palm, reverse, left hand, left thigh, reach it up and back. And on the exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground, sweep your right foot up and back, Three-legged dog, open your hip up. Take a deep breath in as you open the hip. Exhale, flip your dog, step your right foot behind you. On the inhale, lift the left hip up, reach the right hand forward, hold here. Press the ground away with your left hand. Revolve the left rib cage upwards. Reach through the right fingertips. Extend. Take a full breath in, smile. Exhale, right hand down, right foot meets the left, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. On an inhale, please lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, left leg lifts up and back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, twist across the body. Inhale, left leg up and back. Look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your left foot forward, right heel down, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Arms reach upwards. Exhale, opposite interlace of the hands behind the back. On the inhale, lift the chest, lean back, look upwards. And on the exhale, humble warrior. Fold to the inside of the left knee, hands lift up off the tailbone, tuck your chin towards your chest. As you tuck the chin towards the chest, try to straighten through the back right leg. Press the outside edge of the right foot down. Press down through your left foot, firm your left hip in. Hold for five, lift the hands higher. Four. Try to tighten the clasp. Three, two, steady the breath. One, inhale, slowly rise up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch. Inhale, flip your left palm, reverse, right hand, right thigh, reach it up and back. And on the exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground. Step your left foot back, plank position. Lower down to your forearms, forearm plank. 
you come into your forearm plank, separate the hands about shoulders distance apart, then walk your feet in. Maybe we come into a dolphin pose. Now, there's lots that we can do here. So maybe you want to have a little bit of fun. Maybe we stay in our dolphin. Maybe we walk the feet in. Then maybe lift, lift your right leg towards the sky. You know, if this feels good, stay here. If you want more, maybe a little kicks. Maybe we find a little air time. We kick up. Then maybe we find the balance coming into your Pinchamayarasana. Hold for five. Four, press out the shoulders. Three, stack the hips. Two, and one. Gently lower the feet down. Dolphin pose. Press down to the palms. Inhale, lift your elbows. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float your feet forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, hip flow in your hips. Exhale, lower down onto your buttocks, Navasana. Boat pose, lengthen your legs any amount. Inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. 17, lift. 16, lift. 15, lift. 14, lift. 13, lift. 12, lift. 11, lift. 10, lift. Nine, lift, eight, lift, seven, lift, six, lift, five, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, one, lift, lower down, knees into the chest, take a full breath in, exhale, let it go. One more, deep breath in, and exhale, let it go. With bent knees, lower your feet down towards the ground, arms are along the sides, knees over the ankles, feet separated, hips distance apart. On an inhale, lift your hips upwards, interlace the hands underneath you, work your shoulder blades underneath you. As you work your shoulder blades underneath you, press your forearms down. As you press the forearms down, lift the hips, lift the thighs, spread to the collarbones for five, four, three, two. Take a deep breath in, lift a little more. Exhale, release the hands, lower your buttocks down towards the ground. Inhale, lift your hips back up again. Opposite interlace of the hands, other pinky on top. Work your shoulder blades underneath you. Lift your thighs a little higher. Lift the hip. Lift the chest to the chin. Hold for five, four, three, two. Deep breath in, lift a little higher. Exhale, release the hands, smoothly lower the buttocks down to the ground. Bring both knees into your chest. As you bring your knees into your chest, begin to rock up and down the length of your spine. As you rock up and down, start to get some momentum, so much so, rock onto your feet, chair pose to get low in the hips. Inhale in our chairs. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant your hands out in front of you, knees to the triceps or armpits. Shift the weight forward, maybe crow pose, maybe crane pose, bend the elbows. You can play here if you want, floating the feet up off the ground for five, four, three, Two, 
and one. Step back, jump back, float it back. Move it through a vinyasa. Downward facing dogs. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. On an inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. I totally forgot something. On the exhale, flip your dog. Step your left foot behind you. Inhale, lift the hips up. Reach your left fingertips forward. Reach, extend, breathe. Revolve the right rib cage upwards for five, four, three, two. Deep breath in. Exhale, left hand down. Left foot meets the right. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. And exhale, let it go. On an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between your hands. Base of your exhale, step or float the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. Exhale, press to stand, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Smooth breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, chair pose. Get low in your hips. Exhale, forward fold. Hands, fingertips down. Inhale, half lift. Lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float the feet back. Move it through vinyasa. And then we'll meet in downward facing dogs. All right. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, quietly step your right foot forward. Left heel down. Heel to arch alignment. On an inhale, rise up. Warrior two. Exhale, bend into your right knee. Inhale. Flip your right palm, reverse, left hand, left thigh, reach it up and back. Exhale, side angle pose, right elbow, right thigh, left arm reaches. Now we can choose to stay here. We can lower our right hand down to the floor to a block. Maybe you take your left arm behind the back into a half wrap. If that feels good, maybe it's a bind today. What does your body feel like? You can choose to stay here, binding it, or maybe you step your left foot to the top of the mat, press down through your left foot, lift your chest up, keep the bind. And if the flexibility is there, you can start to extend your right leg out to the right side, bird of paradise for five, four, three, two, one. Lowering the right foot smoothly back down. Step your left foot back. Release your bind. Right hand to the ground. Left arm reaching up. Inhale. Rise up. Warrior two. Exhale. Windmill the hands down towards the ground. Step your right foot back. Lower halfway. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. And deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. On the inhale, left leg lifts high. Look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your left foot forward. Right heel down, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, bend into your left knee. Inhaling, flip your left palm, reverse, right hand, right thigh. You reach it up and back. Exhale, side angle pose, either left elbow, left thigh, right arm reaches, or maybe the left fingertips come down, maybe half bind. Right arm behind the back, 
maybe a full bind, left arm reaches underneath the left leg. If you're binding, lift your rib cage up, and you can choose to stay here, or maybe look forward, quietly stepping the right foot forward. Find the balance, lifting up, coming into your bird of paradise, standing on the right leg. Maybe you stay here, maybe you begin to lengthen your left leg out to the side for five. Gaze is forward, four, lift the chest. Three, two, deep breath in, exhale, slowly the foot comes back down, and then gently the right foot steps back, split the arm, left hand down, right arm up, inhale, reverse, right hand, right thigh, reach the left arm up and back, exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground, step your left foot back, Plank position. Now we can choose to stay here or lower down to our forearms, coming into forearm plank. You can walk your feet in. If that feels good, or this time, left leg lifts. Maybe you're working on kicking up today, finding your pinch up, kicking the leg up, find the balance. And if you come up, holding it, five, four, three, two, take a deep breath in, when you're ready, smoothly lower the feet down, lower the knees down, child's pose. So let's bring our knees together in child's pose, let's reach our arms back, and then we're going to tuck our forehead in towards our knees. Interlace your hands behind your back. Now, if you have anything going on with your cervical spine, please be gentle on your neck. Lift your hands off your tailbone. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lift your hips. Rabbit pose. Roll onto the crown of your head. Hands lifting off the tailbone. Shoulder blades together for five. Four. Three. Two, full breath in, exhale, lower the buttocks down, release your hands down. And then taking your hands forward, let's lift our chest up. And for some of us, we may want to go to a wall. Take your time to take your mat there. We're going to work on our sirsasana or headstand. If you're working in the center of the room, clasp your hands. Elbows draw in. Now you're at your house on your own, so just be careful as you do this. I do suggest using a wall if you're newer to it. We're going to lift our hips up off our heels. We'll tuck our chin to the chest. The top of the head, not the forehead, the top of the head comes down towards the ground. Elbows draw in. Press your forearms into the ground. Tuck your toes and then lift your knees. Now we may just stay here. This can be enough for some of us. Or we may bring a knee into the chest and another knee in. Or we start to take our legs upwards towards the sky. Coming into your headstand. Let's take some deep breaths here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Breath into your forearms. Inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, one more time, inhaling, and exhaling. With control, slowly lower the feet down towards the ground. Lower your knees down. Traditional child's pose. Knees wide apart. Crawl the hands out in front of you. 
Smooth breath in. Exhale, let it go. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. All right, from here, let's shift forward a little bit. Now we're gonna come into a frog pose. Take your knees wide apart, separate your feet. So you have about a 90 degree bend in the knees. We start to get into our inner groin. See if you can walk your hands forward. Maybe your chest lowers down towards the ground. Flex the feet. As you crawl the hands forward, relax into the inner groin. Deep breath in. Exhale. Full breath in. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhaling. And exhaling. Walking the hands back in. Begin to lift the chest up. Slide the knees in. As you slide the knees in, sit back on your heels. We're going to get into a little bit of more arm strength here, and we'll finish cooling down. The next one is Lovasana, or we press into our hands and lift everything that we can off the ground. All right, so you can have your blocks to elevate you if you prefer, or just do it with your knees drawing in towards your chest. We'll do 10 rounds together. Let's begin. Take an inhale. Exhale. Lift. Lower. Lift up. Lower. Lift up. Lower. Seven. Lower. Six. Lower. Five. Lower. Four. Lower. Three. Lower. Two. Lower. One and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Take your hips off the side. Take your legs out in front of you. Shake your legs out. All right, flexing through your feet. On an inhale, our arms reach upwards. And on the exhale, fold out and over your legs. Folding in. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold and reach forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, folding, reaching forward. Beautiful. With your next inhale, slowly lift the chest back up. Shake the legs out. Now we're going to get into a little more of a hip opener today. Let's bend our right knee. If you bend the right knee, Grab with the left hand the right ankle, take it across your body, and then take your elbows, if it's available, underneath your right shin. And all we're going to do is just rock it side to side a little bit. We got into our inner groin, opening up the hips today, as well as strengthening our arms. We're working towards a pose called compass pose with our left leg straight. Now from here, if it's available for you, take your left hand to the right ankle. 
And you're going to take your right tricep and really push the right knee back. In fact, so much, you start to work your right shoulder underneath the right knee. You can choose to stay here or left index finger, middle finger, wrap around the right big toe. Release the right hand down to the ground. Flex your left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly start to extend your right leg out to the right side for five, four, three, two. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bend your right knee. Now from here, Plant your hands on the ground and hook your right knee over the right shoulder. Plant your palms, press into your left heel, lift your hips. Now we can stay here or cross your left ankle over the right foot. Take the legs out to the right, Ostrobacrossana, eight angle pose for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lifting back up. Exhale, lower the buttocks down, take the right leg forward, shake it out. Smooth breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Off to our other side. Bring your left knee into your chest. As you bring the left knee in, right hand grabs the left ankle, lift the foot up, take it across the body, and then from here, all we're going to do is just back and forth, back and forth, getting into our hip, floss it out a little bit. And then when you're ready, coming back towards center, right index finger, middle finger, wrap around the left big toe. Using your left tricep, work your left shoulder underneath the left knee. Left hand releases down towards the ground. On an inhale, begin to extend your left leg out to the left side. Press in the left heel, flex through your right foot. Hold for five, four, three, two, breath in. Exhale, slowly bend the left knee. Hook your left knee over the left shoulder. Plant your hands on the ground. If you're moving on, lift your hips, float the right foot. Hook your right foot over the left. Ostrakravasana, eight angle pose for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, lower the foot down. On re release the leg. Take both legs out in front of you. Shake the legs out. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale, folding forward over the legs again. Now these postures are all postures. It took lots of time to practice and to be able to do. Um, don't rush yourself into any of them. In fact, none of them are actually necessary, per se. But it is fun to play with form. It is fun to play with shape. So have fun if you're going to do it. Learn about your body. Create new neural networks. Full breath in. Exhale, fold in. Deep breath in. And exhaling, folding in. With your next inhale, let's lift up. As we lift up, let's scoot the buttocks forward, make our way onto our backs, bring the knees into the chest. Now, as we bring our knees into our chest, we're going to work into a shoulder stand. There's a couple different ways to do it. You can use blankets and blocks and tools if you have them. I'm just going to teach it without that today. Take your arms down along the sides, press into your palms, let the back of the head come down. Try not to turn the head to the left or right. Keep the cervical spine stable on an inhale. Take your legs up and over your head in the Halasana plow pose. So our hands come to our backs. As our hands come to our backs, the chin tucks towards the chest. Elbows firm in. As the elbows firm in, 
Let's just hang out here. For some people, this is enough. If you'd like a little bit more, maybe you take one leg towards the ceiling, maybe you take the other leg towards the ceiling, working into your Salamba Sarvangasana shoulder stand. Firm the thighs together. Point through the toes. Reach and lengthen. Hold here for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling. And when you're ready, Take your legs back up and over the head again, lowering your toes down. Now you can stay here, or maybe you bend your knees. If you'd like to move on, maybe you take your hands around the backs of the knees, clasp the elbows, and then pull yourself into it. As you pull yourself in, tucking the chin towards the chest, squeeze the inner knees around the ears. Hold here for five. Four, three, two, full breath in, exhale, release the hands down with bent knees, vertebrae by vertebrae, begin rolling your spine down, let the feet touch the ground, Breath in, exhale, letting it go. Place your hands underneath your buttocks, lengthen your legs forward. As you lengthen your legs forward, press through the palms and forearms, inhale, lift your chest up, lift the triceps up, tilt the head back as you work into your fish pose. You can choose to stay here or front ribs, navel hug in slightly, take the legs upwards 45 degrees. Hold for five, four, lengthen legs, three, two, full breath in, exhale, lower the legs down, tuck the chin towards the chest. Release your hands from underneath your buttocks. Shake your legs out. Hmm. All right. With your next inhale, let's bring our right knee into our chest. Take a full breath in. And on the exhale, twist across your body over to your left side. As you twist to your left, take your right arm out to the right, and you can choose to stay here, or maybe you bend your left knee. You can reach down with your right hand and grab your left foot. Bring your left heel towards the buttocks. It's a nice left quadricep stretch, but try to bring your right shoulder down towards the ground and continue to twist into your posture. Let's take three long, slow, deep breaths. Inhale fully, exhaling, deep breath in, exhaling, two more, inhale, exhale, Inhale. Exhale. Just holding a little longer. One more. Inhaling. And exhaling. Release the foot if you have it. 
Bring the right knee into your chest. Bring the left knee into your chest. Then we'll switch sides. Right leg lengthens forward. Left knee hugs in. Inhaling. And on the exhale, twist it across the body over to your right side. Left arm goes out to the left. And if you'd like to bend your right knee and grab the right foot with the left hand, that might feel nice for you. But try to bring your left shoulder down. Now sometimes I'll kind of have an idea where I'll go, ah, uh, three breaths here, but sometimes I feel it's important just to hold the stretch longer, so bear with me. We'll do about five breaths here, maybe longer, we'll see how it goes. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Four more. Inhaling. Exhaling, twist. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. One more. Inhaling. Exhale. Twist. Release the right foot. Bring your left knee back into your chest. Bring your right knee into your chest. Let's hug everything together into a tight ball. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill lungs up. Sip in a little bit more air. Squeeze it all together. And on the exhale, release everything down towards the ground. Shavasana. As you close your eyes, relax, let go, be at peace. We'll spend about five minutes here. And as you spend this five minutes, I'll just be sitting quietly in meditation. Be here, be still, watch the fluctuations of the mind. Give yourself this concentrated five minutes. Five minutes begins now.
Begin to slowly move the fingers and the toes and circle out your wrists and ankles. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Turn the head to your left and to your right. With the deepest, longest inhales all day, reach the arms up and over the head, palms touch. And on the exhale, release the arms down along the sides. Placing a gentle bend in your knees, roll over to your left side and use the right hand, press yourself up and come into a comfortable seated position. As you come into a comfortable seated position, placing your hands over your heart, dropping the shoulder blades down the back, letting the chest open. And just feeling your own heart, having awareness over your heart. Awareness of the breath, awareness of the body. And just recognizing yourself for your self-discipline today, for showing up onto your mat, for connecting with your body through movement and the choice to move. Naturally and in time, the body opens, it releases. Yoga is a practice. It is a discipline, and the more we practice, the better we get at this discipline. It goes beyond just the physical body. Learning how to discipline the sometimes unwieldy mind, and learning to be a little bit more aware and present. Let's all take a deep breath in, fill our lungs up. Exhale, let it go. We'll finish with an O. Inhale. Exhale, bowing the head down towards the hands. As you honor yourselves today, your practices for showing up on your mat, we honor our friends, families, loved ones, and supporters. In gratitude for the abundance that's in our lives, the many blessings and gifts that continue to show up for us, and in gratitude for the many teachings and the teachers and guides that walked long before us along this path that passed along the practices of yoga. Release the hands down, opening the eyes, lifting your chins. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I appreciate you showing up. If you need anything at all, please reach out. You can always contact me through this platform or other platforms. My family and I are here to help and support in any way that we can. I hope and pray you have a beautiful rest of your day. Ho'oponopono. Aho. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much.